His private remarks about her were replayed to him publicly within moments. Someone has just handed me the tape. Let's play it and see if we can hear it. She never put me with that woman. What did she say? Oh, everything. She's just a sort of bigoted woman. Mr Brown visited her at home to apologise, but the damage was done. Gordon Brown entered the election arguing that his substance and experience would defeat calls for change. In the end, it was not enough. James Landell, BBC News. James Landell there, our deputy political editor, with that assessment of Gordon Brown's remarkable career. And that is how things stand at Westminster this evening. These are the images over the Palace of Westminster. Gordon Brown is preparing to hold a cabinet meeting at 10 Downing Street starting in just a few minutes' time after that dramatic news that he is to stand down as Labour leader within months. And the future political landscape of the country now even more uncertain than ever. David Dimbleby will be here with a special programme at 8.30 on BBC One. The 6 o'clock news follows, but from me, it's goodbye. Gordon Brown has announced he intends to step down as Labour leader, but will continue temporarily as Prime Minister as he tries to form a new government. Speaking in Downing Street, Mr Brown said the Liberal Democrats had asked to open formal negotiations with Labour. When the issue of who forms the government is settled, Mr Brown will go. But I have no desire to stay in my position longer than is needed to ensure the path to economic growth is assured and the process of political reform we have agreed moves forward quickly. Mr Brown's statement came after a day which ended with the Liberal Democrats saying there was still no deal with the Conservatives. And this discussion is dependent not only on the Liberal Democrat Party, but also on the proposals and discussions that are ongoing uh, with the Conservative Party and the representations that, frankly, are being made uh, by the Labour Party. And right now in the House of Commons, Conservative MPs are meeting David Cameron. Where does this leave his bid for government? We'll have the latest from Westminster, where the Cabinet is meeting and Britain's political future hangs in the balance. And in sport, good news for England fans. As he prepares to name his provisional World Cup squad, Fabio Capello confirms that Wayne Rooney will be fit to play in South Africa. Good evening and welcome to BBC's News at 6 from Westminster on a day of high drama in British politics. Within the past hour, Gordon Brown has said he intends to stand down as Labour leader and Prime Minister. In a dramatic statement, Mr Brown said he would step down in the national interest, but only after he oversees talks with Liberal Democrats aimed at forming a new Labour Liberal Democrat government. I'm joined now by our political editor, Nick Robinson. What an extraordinary day. It's all changed just in the last hour. That's right. It's an audacious bid by Gordon Brown to keep Labour in power. And let's be clear, George, to keep himself in power for a limited time. But it's something bigger than that. It is a bid to reshape the very shape of British politics, creating a coalition the like of which we have not seen since the Second World War, in which senior Liberal Democrats would sit around a cabinet table, at first with Gordon Brown as Prime Minister, but within six months with another alternative leader. It raises lots of questions, of course. The legitimacy of this arrangement, should Gordon Brown survive since his party effectively lost the election? The legitimacy of an unelected figure becoming Prime Minister in future. Also, the issue of whether it can really be strong and stable, given the parliamentary numbers. Well, you say it's going to change the shape of British politics, but where to now? What happens next? Well, if it happens, it will change it, because we're in the bizarre situation where the Liberal Democrats today reported back 
that they were having extremely successful negotiations with the Conservative Party, they were pleased with their progress, and they just wanted to get a little bit more detail, they said, on their ideas on voting reform and education on tax. Not the slightest hint from that that they had major disagreements. So the dilemma for Nick Clegg tonight is does he walk away, in which case how does he explain it to the public, or does he stick with his position, in which case how does he explain it to his party, many of whom crave to do a deal with Labour and loathe the idea of going into power with the Tories. All right, Nick, we'll be talking to you again uh, in the rest of the programme, but thank you for the moment. Thank you. Well, as we've heard, the announcement by the Prime Minister came at the end of a day which began focusing on the prospect of an agreement between the Conservatives and the Liberal Democrats, as our Deputy Political Editor James Landale now reports. After three days of uncertainty, three days of inconclusive talks and three days of silence from Gordon Brown, today this 